You know. So the first step, as we stood there on the deck of that ship, was to gather all the passengers that knew there was a problem, bring them all together and say, okay, okay, all right, we're here. Well, now we've been sitting here for a while saying, okay, we're here, we're here. And I, uh, unfortunately, have been the guy who has been saying, no, I, know there's, I know there's a leader here someplace. I know he's going to show himself someplace. They haven't shown up. I ain't waiting anymore. I saw a bumper sticker the other day, and I, I know us conservatives are just so stupid, all we can do is quote bumper stickers, so let me fulfill that for them. It said, when the people lead, the leaders will follow. Back in August, I told you on the air that I was working on something. Well, here's what I was working on, and it's going to take me about a year to complete because I want to make sure absolutely everything is buttoned up. I have been assembling a team. I, am, I, I really am no different than you. I'm a guy who grew up in my dad's bakery. I'm, I'm a self-educated guy, and I am just trying. I find myself... I find myself in an amazing situation. A new friend of mine said to me, he said, hey, why don't you and your wife come on over? We're just gonna have, Saturday night, we're just gonna have a dinner with some friends, why don't you come over? Uh, my wife said, you know, you, you know, you probably, sh don't, don't wear sweatpants. <laughs> and I'm like, honey, my other pants barely fit me. Come on, we're just going over for Friday night with some friends. I walk in and it's Steve Forbes, just one of the friends. And I'm like, Hey, I'm so glad I didn't wear the sweatpants. <laughs> I find myself in an incredible situation where I can actually sit down, you know, and have pizza and go, so Steve, let me ask you this question. I've begun to assemble a team of advisors. Team of advisors to, to talk to me about finance and foreign policy and education and defense and social issues. And what I've done is I've found two really smart people in each category. Two really just, they've had all kinds of experience. And then I've coupled them with one rebel. One radical. I hear that's popular to be a radical now. But these radicals are not the kind of radicals that are wearing the J t-shirts. These radicals are the ones wearing the Jefferson t-shirts. Somebody that says we haven't been living what those guys wanted to do for a hundred years. You really want to unleash America? You really want to change it? Here's how you do it. And I have those three people in each category meet with me and we are devising a plan. And here's how it's going to work. I've done a lot of reading on history in the last few years, and I was amazed to find that what we're experiencing now is really a ticking time bomb that they designed about a hundred years ago at the beginning of the progressive movement. Yep. And they thought, you know what, if we just do this and this and this and this, over time, if we do it in both the Republican and the Democratic parties, we will have our socialist utopia. Well, I say again, two can play at that game. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I am drafting plans now to bring us back to an America that our founders would understand. Our libertarian friends they never, they never win elections because they always stand up and say, you know what, I'm going to swear or take the oath of office on Tuesday and on Wednesday, I'm abolishing the IRS, and on Thursday, I'm bringing all of our troops home from around the world, and honestly, it can't be done. It has been done for a hundred years, a hundred years of laying this foundation. Some of the stupid stuff we could do on Tuesday afternoon.
hey, let's skip the parade this year. I'm cleaning up some of the stupid stuff. But the rest of it might take two years, four years, 10 years, 50 years. We need to start thinking like the Chinese. I'm developing a 100-year plan for America. A 100-year plan. We will plant this idea and it will sprout roots. This isn't for us. This is for our children and our grandchildren. Ronald Reagan said, if I may paraphrase him, most people spend their whole lives wondering if they made a difference in the world. Let me tell you something. I promise you, if you choose to do the hard things this year, this time next year, you will have the answer to that question. You will change the course of history.